Welcome back. All eyes on West Virginia today. Hillary Clinton racked up a 41 point victory in the state years, years ago, eight years ago. But now she's the underdog in coal country. Despite that, she's still far ahead in the overall delegate count, even the vice president officially acknowledging it today. I feel confident that Hillary will be the nominee and I feel confident she'll be the next president. Jeff Zeleny is in Louisville, Kentucky, where Clinton is campaigning. Uh, Jeff, Clinton is trying to really look past West Virginia and almost just look at the general election. She is, Jake. She is looking ahead to the general election. She's already engaging Donald Trump. Donald Trump is certainly engaging her on things, but it's nights like this that remind you that the Democratic primary is mathematically not over. Yes, she has a sizable lead. It is nearly impossible for Bernie Sanders to catch up with her, but she still is about 600 delegates short of that magic number of 2383. The Clinton campaign is expecting a loss tonight in West Virginia. Those uh, comments she made about uh, sort of ending uh, coal miners in coal country, certainly controversial. She's campaigning here in Kentucky, which votes next week. But, Jake, there's still a full month left of contests here. She still needs to win more delegates, which she will. But she's closing this race like Barack Obama did eight years ago. He lost all those final contests, as you well remember. And it looks like she may do the same tonight. But since Democrats split their delegates, Jake, it really doesn't matter. She marches forward and keeps her eye on Donald Trump. Jake? Interesting. Yes, that proportional allocation. Now let's go to Brianna Keeler, who's with the Sanders campaign today. Uh, Brianna, good to see you. Sanders hoping for a big West Virginia win. Sounds like the Clintons expect that as well. What are you hearing from the Sanders campaign about tonight? Well, certainly, Jake, the Sanders campaign is expecting a win in West Virginia tonight. And they also feel really good about Oregon, which is why he is speaking here tonight, where voters will be going to the polls in a week. And despite the fact that Sanders is actually outperforming Clinton against Donald Trump in some key states, Pennsylvania, Florida, and Ohio, in the latest Quinnipiac University poll, this is a poll I should mention that Bernie Sanders has been touting here in the last day or so. Despite that, as Jeff uh, mentioned, there are only 29 delegates at stake in West Virginia tonight, proportionally allocated. So it would be difficult, obviously, for Bernie Sanders to make any ground up tonight despite an expected win. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily know that talking uh, to him or listening to him because he's been emphasizing not only uh, how he can move forward to Philadelphia, but he also even hit Hillary Clinton yet again on her paid speeches from Wall Street, and it's something that his followers really want to hear. We are several hours before his event, Jake, and there's already a line of hundreds of people here in Salem, Oregon, waiting to hear him speak. All right, hundreds of people feeling the burn out in Oregon. Brianna Keeler, thanks so much.